What's going on guys? So today is the day that I'm gonna try to get this thing actually running again. I don't think it could be anything else but this injector, that's bad. Uh, but first, as you can see, I've already been dremeling out a little bit. Um, I got a dremel out right here and to get to this screw. And once I get that dremeled out and fixed and where I can get to the screw, I can unscrew it. Ooh. And then put the injector in and hopefully it'll run right. And at the end of this video, I am going to be announcing like a surprise or like not really a surprise, but like a thing I'm doing. So you're going to want to stay tuned for that. So now we're going to go ahead and get to the dremeling process and hopefully I can get this thing uh, in. We'll just have to see. Alright guys, so that was literally probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to do on this car. Like I've already done this before, but for this one right here, it was it was rough. Like I mean Okay, so the first problem I ran into was well, I mean you can't really get to it, obviously. I did get it out as you can see. But obviously I had to trim up that, uh trim out that. But even when I did that, the screw decided to uh I don't know if it'll focus on it. I don't know, it won't focus that well, obviously. But, it decided to pretty much completely strip. I, honestly, I got it with these needle nose pliers after I tried for like 10,000 times and finally got it. And then, not to mention the fact that uh, when I went to get this injector out, it was so corroded, it literally broke apart. So, yeah. But, it's out, so let's put this new one in. Let's. Alright guys, so when I'm putting in injectors, I usually coat the two... Um, rubber things, uh, what, I don't know why I'm drawing a blank, the gaskets or whatever, uh, with some oil, and just pop that guy in there, so, basically just take it and kind of push him in there, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright guys, it's finally in, wired up, everything is good, I think, um, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna start it, but I'm not gonna open the garage because it's already really late and my neighbors already hate me enough. So it's probably a bad idea, but I'm gonna start it real quick in the garage, pull it, see if it works, and if it works, call it a night. So we're gonna see if it works. I'm gonna start it. Holy crap guys, so I don't know if you guys just saw, I'm like about to choke out here. That was a really dumb idea to start while I was in here, but I figured it would be really quick. But I just pulled plug on number two and it dropped idle and it ran like crap. So, ran like it used to. So, I've officially fixed the Z in the next video, which will be the next two days or one day. I'm going to drive this thing. And we're gonna be good. I'm, I'm super ho like excited to drive it. I really hope that it runs good because obviously I fixed it. But um, so the thing I was gonna tell you guys is I'm getting a wide body kit in a couple days now. Um, from I can't remember their actual name, but yeah, it's gonna be happening. Wide body kit. So stay tuned. But until next, until next time, go hit that like button. Go subscribe, and yeah, it's fucking fixed.